Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Uh, today we're going to start what was supposed to be this week's reactions. Uh, we're starting it in the middle of the week, but the theme is going to be revisiting bands. Um, I had my Patreons pick out a couple of bands that they really wanted me to react to, and that, were the, that was the ones that got thrown into the poll. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to be checking out most of these. Today's, we are going to look at Nightwish. Um, Cody Castleberry, Ashley Alexander, Tyler Messer, and Ray Darkhawk, Rye Darkhawk, uh, they all said that I need to check out their old vocalist, Tarja Tarunin. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so yeah. So we when we checked out Nightwish last time, which was Ghost Love Score, I think that's what it was called, uh, the singer was Floor Jansen, or uh, I actually read in the comments the J is kind of like a soft J, so it's Floor Jansen, I think is how I'm pronouncing that. Um, but yeah, so we've already checked her out, so now we're going to check out some older Nightwish with their first vocalist. Um, and the song that is picked here is from the End of an Era concert. I guess this was... Uh, who's this person's name? The old singers, though. Uh, Tarja. I guess this is her final performance with Nightwish. Um, or maybe their final tour. And this was, you know, this was the recorded uh, session of their final tour. And this song is The Phantom of the Opera, which was specifically requested uh, by one of the people in that comment list. Let me pull this back up real quick. Well, uh, Tyler Messa, nope, Ray Darkhawk specifically requested uh, Phantom of the Opera from the End of an Era tour. So, yeah, I also found out that uh, the Ghost Love Score was originally written for Tarja. Or she originally, you know, the band wrote it when Tarja was singing. Um, so that wasn't even what, uh, an original song of the Floor era of Nightwish. So maybe when we come back to Nightwish, we'll pick one of their newer tracks uh, that was kind of written with Floor in mind as the singer. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into this. Let's see what let's see what we got in store for us. I don't want to do too much comparison between Floor and her, but uh, just right off the bat, Nightwish is obviously a band around a Braddock singer. I like that chord. arpeggiation between those held out notes as they transition from one chord to the next in the last section. That's what that song was for. Switching between the, the half time and full time. Oh, 
Okay, I'm really digging the juxtaposition between the kind of rough uh, male vocals and her very clean of product. Which makes sense, assuming that this has anything to do with Phantom of the Opera. Really nice fill there. Cool intro to this next section. Vocals are selling me on this. I love that chord. That is such a good chord. In context, obviously. Bass kicks are just really driving this forward. Um, I'm assuming that, yeah, that's the end. Alright, so, yeah, that was... That was interesting. It does make me wonder a little bit about... Uh, the evolution of Nightwish... Because uh, this was a fairly simple song compared to uh, Ghost Love Score. Love Ghost Score? Ghost Love Score. Um, this is more of a standard rock track. Um, uh, maybe metal. I mean, if this was the 90s, I'm sure this would be considered metal. But it just the real difference is the operatic singing. I think that's the real you know, outlying aspect. A lot of the rest of the band, the the instrumentation, how they compose their songs is very typical for the genre. But her voice stands out, especially given the time frame with a lot of the other predominantly male vocalists. Uh, a lot of the rough vocals that were starting to show up in the metal scene and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to put this into, into context of the time and kind of see how it I don't know if this was the first band to do it, but it's definitely one of the more dominant bands who have come out from that era, who have kind of revolutionized the sound. And to me, this was definitely, I mean, this is one of those bands that you hear the first time, you know, especially back in the day. And you're like, wow, you know, this is different. This is new. This is good. Uh, and I can see why they made waves. They definitely changed a lot of, of what was going on at the time. Uh, assuming that Tarja um, sang this way from the start. And that's kind of the notion I'm getting. Especially since Floor also is an operatic singer. And I read a little bit in the comments that there was a third singer that was between Tarja and Floor. And she didn't last long because she had more of a pop sound to her voice. So, I, I get the feeling that even on their first album, Nightwish had this 
a pratic edge to their metal. As for the song itself, though, I mean, fantastic idea of having that second singer. I don't know if that guy, the guitarist, sings often in the band. Uh, I don't know if it's something that pops up all the time throughout their albums or if this was more of a one-off, but the juxtaposition of his, like I said earlier, just that raw, compressed, harsh it's not a it's not a growl it's not a a fry it's just compressed clean um against her apratic wild uh vibrato i mean she's she just has this huge vibrato and it's so precise and clean um it's just assuming that this actually talks about the phantom of the opera uh you kind of have the monster and the main character and that just it just shows up in the music so well not even just in the vocalist but in the music as well where you have these uh distorted electric guitars and then these very wide um orchestral sounding strings coming from the pianist uh it's just a lot of this song deals with the dichotomy that is seen inside of you know the the musical Phantom of the Opera. I even want to say that some of their musical ideas are ripped right from Weber's musical ideas. Um, maybe not, maybe not directly ripped, but definitely an homage to the work. Uh, it has a theatric sound to it that I didn't hear so much in um, Ghost Love Score. I re I know those are the three words, but I swear I'm getting them mixed up. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has more of a of, of that theatrical edge to it. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it, if it's not like some direct nods, that there's the, it's it's an homage. It's influenced by uh, by Weber's work. So yeah, I dig this. I actually like this a lot better than um, Ghost Love Score. That I know that's kind of inflammatory, uh, but. This one just seems more honed in and more about the music. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I, I said I didn't want to, to kind of compare the two uh, at the beginning. And I, I'm... All right, let's just focus on this song. I'm not, I'm not going to do a comparison. But yeah, so that's uh, Phantom of the Opera by Nightwish with their original singer. And I, I enjoyed that. I would like to see, like I said at the beginning, uh, one of their latest songs to kind of see how the band's evolved since this one. Because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the last track we did is actually also from the same era of music, or era of the band. Uh, it was just sung by their new singer uh, more recently. So maybe uh, we could check out a track that was actually written while Floor was in the band. Maybe something off their latest album next time we revisit this band. So this is where you come in. Let me let me know what you guys thought about this. I know we've done Nightwish before. Uh, you know where does this sit? Uh, with, there was a, a lot of comments last time that said uh, Nightwish isn't the same without Tarja. If you haven't heard Nightwish before, or maybe you've only listened to the reaction I did with Floor Jan Jansen, uh, let me know what you thought about this one, and uh, you know if you think one is better than the other. Um, I guess you can let me know down in the comments because a few of you definitely let me know last time. Otherwise, while you're down there, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you'd like, you could check out my Patreon or my Twitter. Links are in the description. And until then, y'all stay safe out there and have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you've decided to watch this.